Audio tip test one. Unmill Radio. You will hear an audio script concerning a mission related topic. This script will be followed by a conversation between two persons. This conversation will relate to the script. You will hear the tape only once. You will make notes of the script and of the conversation. From these notes, you will be instructed either to answer 10 questions or complete a rating report of the incident. Good luck. People around the world like to listen to the radio. People listen to the radio at home, at work, in the car, and in the streets. People listen to the news, weather forecast, and like to listen to the music. Liberians are no exception to this common tradition. The civil war in Liberia was over in 2003. People's lives and hopes turned to good. More Liberians began walking with radio in their hands, listening to the news and music. There are three main radio stations in Monrovia operating on FM frequency. Music radio on frequency 90.2 Official radio of the United Nations mission in Liberia on frequency 91 Point five and World News Radio Station on frequency 103. The transmission of these radio stations is also well heard in neighboring countries like Sierra Leone, Guinea and Ivory Coast. A young Liberian man called John was listening to the Unmill radio. He heard that the nationwide campaign on disarmament was launched on 3rd of December 2003. He also heard that the campaign was coordinated by the Anmil radio with intention to inform combatants and communities in Liberia about this program. John is a 28-year-old Liberian citizen. He has been married for 10 years and has three kids. People around the world like to listen to the radio. People listen to the radio at home, at work, in the car, and in the streets. People listen to the news, weather forecast, and like to listen to the music. Liberians are no exception to this common tradition. The civil war in Liberia was over in 2003. People's lives and hopes turned to good. More Liberians began walking with the radio in their hands, listening to to the news and music. There are three main radio stations in Monrovia operating on FM frequency. Music radio on frequency 90.2 Official radio 
of the United Nations mission in Liberia on frequency 91.5 and World News Radio Station on frequency 103. The transmission of these radio stations is also well heard in neighboring countries like Sierra Leone, Guinea and Ivory Coast. A young Liberian man called John was listening to the Anmil radio. He heard that the nationwide campaign on disarmament was launched on 3rd of December 2003. He also heard that the campaign was coordinated by the Anmil radio with intention to inform combatants and communities in Liberia about this program. John is a 28-year-old Liberian citizen. He has been married for 10 years and has three kids, two sons and a daughter. The daughter is nine years old. The oldest son is seven and the youngest son is five. John and his family still currently live at his father's house in Monrovia. John finished high school in May 1993 and received his certificate upon completion. During the war, he was unemployed and now he is still looking for a job. Like many Liberians, he usually played football on weekends and was listening to the radio. His favorite radio station is the music radio. On 21st of December 2004, John went to the center of Monrovia to look for a job as a security officer at the shop. He walked into a supermarket which was trading electronic goods. While he was waiting for a manager of the supermarket to ask him if he would hire him, John heard an announcement on the Unmill radio about recruitment of police officers for the Liberian National Police Service. John left the supermarket without even having a response from the manager. John decided to become a police officer. Walking home, John saw a poster on the wall of the police station located in the center of Monrovia and read that applicants who successfully meet basic criteria in fitness, writing, psychological and medical tests 
would be invited for interview at the police headquarters. When John came home, he spoke with his father about his intention to become a police officer. His father said that he would be proud if John was a police officer. John successfully passed all necessary tests and on Monday, 17th of January 2005, he was invited to come to the police headquarters for interview. The following conversation is the dialogue between a police officer and John. Police officer, thank you for coming to the police headquarters. I need to ask you some questions. My first question is, are you a citizen of Liberia? John, yes I am. I am a citizen of Liberia. How old are you? I am 28 years old. What is your education? I finished high school in Monrovia in May 1993. Have you ever been abroad from Liberia? No, I have spent all my life in Liberia. Do you have any document proving that you have finished high school? Yes, I do. I have a certificate. Please, name countries that share borders with Liberia. Three countries share borders with Liberia. These countries are Sierra Leone, Guinea and Ivory Coast. What kind of tests have you passed before coming for interview? I have passed physical, written, medical and psychological tests. Are you married? If yes, for how long have you been married? I am married and I have been married for 10 years. How many children do you have? I have three kids, two sons and a daughter. My daughter is nine years old, my older son is seven and the younger is five. Do you own a house or do you live with your parents? My family and I live in my father's house. What is your occupation? So far, I am unemployed. How do you usually spend your weekends? I like listening to the radio and playing football on weekends. What is your favorite radio station? Music radio on frequency 90.2. Where and when did you learn about recruitment of candidates for the Liberian National Police? On 21st of December 2004, I was looking for a job as a security officer at the electronic goods supermarket. While I was waiting for the manager, I heard an announcement on Unmill Radio about recruitment of candidates for the Liberian National Police. Did you manage to speak with the manager of the supermarket regarding your employment? No. When I heard this announcement on the radio, I decided to become a police officer. So, I left the supermarket without even speaking with the manager. We also distributed posters about recruitment of candidates for the Liberian National Police Service. Have you seen these posters? 
Yes, I saw and read a poster about it on the wall of the police station in the center of Monrovia. Do you often listen to the Onmir radio? Not really. I just do it sometimes. Do you know on which frequency this radio station is working? Every Liberian knows that this radio is on frequency 91.5. Do you remember when the campaign on disarmament began? The nationwide campaign on disarmament was launched on 3rd of December 2003. What was the role of Onmil Radio in promoting this campaign? I know that the campaign on disarmament was coordinated by Onmil Radio with the purpose of informing combatants and communities in Liberia about the program. Did you share your thoughts with any family member about your wish to become a police officer? I spoke with my father about it and he said he would be proud if I became a police officer. Thank you for coming. The interview is over. Please sign here and put today's date, Monday, 17th of January 2005. Please be in touch. You will be informed of the result of the interview. Goodbye. Thank you. I will be in touch with you. Goodbye.